the proposition is called astrozap a s t r o z a p so with this you can zap your predictions as simple as that okay remember that this is your formula this is the key if you remember this one thing if you keep doing using this as your mantra i i will tell you that your accuracy levels will definitely increase from what it is today to what it is tomorrow it will definitely increase so let us let us understand what this astro zap is okay uh, some people were <coughs> showing fingers in the back are you able to hear me please are you able to hear me okay excellent so which is the mantra astrozap astro zap. okay let's look at what what does it mean first and foremost we look at the z a p the one in yellow z stands for zodiac a stands for the ascendant and houses and p stands for planets we all have heard about all these things but have you ever thought about how each of these actually work in delineating an horoscope that's what i'm going to give i'm going to give you a lot of finer points in terms of how to use them in delineating a horoscope astro what does astro stands for a stands for agents or karakas s stands for segment charts we also call them as divisional charts but the right word to use is actually segment charts t stands for time periods or dasha bhukti r stands for relegation of yogas not just yogas but the relegation part of the yogas and o stands for the orbits of, pla of planets that is nothing but the transits that we talk about so this is the methodology that i am going to look at it's a eight step process that we are going to look at let me begin with zodiac the first one what does a zodiac do now zodiac actually gives you the characteristic feature of an environment this feature tells you how an external situation influences a person at any point of time how an external environment influences the person now for each zodiac there are certain various uh, characteristics that are uh, special for example let's take the aries zodiac right now you can know whether it's a day sign or whether it is a night sign what does it mean which zodiac at will it be stronger during, uh, in which part of the day for example aries is is a night sign that basically means it is stronger in the night compared to the uh, day similarly each zodiac is associated with an element it's associated with a style movable fixed and common now movable fixed common dual dwiswabhava stira chara we continuously use these words have you ever wondered what these words actually mean anybody can you raise your hands and tell what it actually means yes the gentleman here is going to speak yeah chara stira dwiswabhava ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಬಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಗೋ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಮೋರ್ ಡೀಪರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿನೈಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಗೋ ಇವನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಡೀಪರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐಸ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಐ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಸಮ್ ಫೈನರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಗೋ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಮೋರ್ ಡೀಪರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ ನೌ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯು ಹರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಲಂಟ್ರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲಂಟ್ರಿ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ yes how many have you have heard of voluntary right how many of have you have heard about involuntary right now if i want to move my hand from this position to this position is it a voluntary movement or involuntary movement voluntary, voluntary movement very clear that means i have control over it yes now similarly the heart beat that each one of us have do we have control over it no, no? what about the breathing involuntary. involuntary so we clearly know what is voluntary and what is involuntary there is something a third concept called semi involuntary for example the breathing or the heart beat if i run very very fast suddenly i can increase the heart beat or if i start doing meditation i can decrease the heart beat so is my yes. thing right i don't have complete control over it but i am able to change the range in which it operates right 
we talked about voluntary we talked about involuntary we talked about involuntary voluntary and involuntary mix chera sthira dvisva bhava make sense yes. so don't use the word common going forward call it dual so this is chera chera basically means an ability it's movable right so it basically means an ability to move by your own self voluntary you can do make things happen whereas sthira basically means it's involuntary in nature you have very minimal control over it and this vabhava is again involuntary in nature but you can change the range to work in your advantage so this is the type of each sign has this speciality i'm i'm not going to spend too much of time here if you want you can take a screenshot of that or it will also be available in the website that we have been circulating so you can download the slides there similarly we have the ayurvedic constitution the doshas that are there the nature of each sign uh, there is topography positives and negatives i'll take one example uh, i have given cancer leo virgo libra let me give you libra for example let's go through these things libra what does it indicate it means balance of scales right it's a st it is strong during the day the element is air the dosha is a mix of vata pitta and kapha that's important what does it actually mean any per, any anything that is situated with associated with libra that is tula it basically talks about being harmonious in nature because you look at all the three doshas are applying at any point of time so it's always harmonious at the same times it's always salesy that basically means it will go it will be a go getter it will go a little forward and it will try to always sell an idea a thought a concept a product any of these things it will try to sell similar i'll probably skip the rest but you get an idea of how a zodiac works so this is important the first and foremost is at any point of time you have to understand which zodiac that you are looking at for example if you're looking at seventh house look at which zodiac the seventh house belongs and understand how the environment will be for that particular zodiac next we'll go to the ascendant right now are these finer points helping you uh, in your uh, understanding let's go to the ascendant ascendant and the houses now what is zodiac zodiac is basically a view of the sky what is ascendant ascendant for a given horoscope is basically the east direction at that time of birth as simple as that the east direction at the time of birth in its simplest way that's how you have to understand but the beauty of ascendant is it not just tells you which lagna is rising but it will also give you an overview of all other houses that are there so the 12 houses are actually determined by the by determining which is the ascendant now what does the ascendant and the horoscopes tell you ascendants and houses the, they are also known as bhavas 